everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shearer coming from IDS 2025, going around talking about edentulous scanning and specifically of how we can go ahead and utilize some of the latest scanners in our prosthodontic overdenture and locator fixed workflows. Today we're here at the Allied Star booth taking a look at the Allied Star Sensa scanner, which is a new wireless scanner from Allied Star. It seems very impressive here so far. It's a much different design, very compact compared to the other Allied Star scanner, but also utilizing some of the very similar structured light scanning capability to go ahead and make scanning pretty easily uh, accessible to the clinician as well as affordable. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and take a look at intraoral scanning and edentulous scanning with the new Sensa scanner. The Sensa scanner uses a traditional Wi-Fi connection to go ahead and easily bridge to any computer in the dental office as well utilizing a Wi-Fi bridge. In addition to that, it is a truly wireless scanner with a very fast charge. I've been told it can go ahead and charge in just approximately 30 minutes for a full scan. No replaceable batteries, which is a little bit different from most of the other industry, but also a little bit of a breath of fresh air because they never have to worry about popping a battery in and out. That being said, we also have to kind of look at the wireless capability and how it can drain the battery, and then also making sure that we have our patients ready for the next scan. When we go ahead and we start the scan, we can see here we're in a pretty intuitive uh, OS and workflow that allows it to be pretty simple. Allied Star has really put a lot of time and energy into their workflow for dentures, ortho, as well as everyday scanning. Today's video, we're going to be specifically looking at a dentulous scanning, utilizing a denture with a realigned impression on the inside, seeing how we can go ahead and generate a scan of a patient's dentulous arch simply just by using a realigned or reference denture. Let's get started. I have an edentulous arch that's off of my Zest locator model that we utilized. I went ahead and I removed my locator buttons just to go ahead and make it easy for the intraoral scanner. When I click the button, I can start scanning pretty much anywhere here on the arch. A lot of times we can start scanning here on the edentulous ridge like the retromyohyoid or the retromolar pad area, especially here on the mandible. Give it a few scans across the arch. We see here pretty much done in just approximately 10 to 15 seconds. Pretty easy. Once we go ahead and click the button, which has a physical button either on the top surface of the scanner or from scanning on the maxillary arch, there's also a secondary button below. What you can see here as I'm moving my scanner wand around, it also allows me to go ahead and control the functionality and visualization of the scan. Overall, it looks like I've got a pretty good scan. Let's go ahead and start scanning the denture. So now as I click and I hold the button and I click the next button, I simply just go to the next scan just by clicking the button. Very simple, very easy. Okay. So once I've gone ahead and I've marked on the scan, where in the areas I needed to adjust, it simply allows me to go ahead and lock in any sort of peripheral tissues and any areas that need to be adjusted before doing the scan. My scanner is now ready. I click the button to start scanning here at any position on the impression just allowing me to go ahead and lock in the areas. As you see here, now it starts to go ahead and join those two areas together. I've already kind of linked the scan of the edentulous arch to my patient. Now, as I kind of switch hands, come to the other side, now it allows me to go ahead and pick up that area on the retromylohyoid and the retromolar pad area. Once I've got all of my scan, I can now proceed to do my 360 scan of the patient's denture locking in where the teeth are, coming back and forth into the intaglio, into the molar, intaglio and molar, switching back, following the camera prompts to verify that I capture the entire surface. Switching hands. And now I've got pretty much the entire dentition selected. I'm gonna to start to wrap everything together. And if there's any little arrows indicating where I needed to add to the scan, perfectly fine. Just take a moment just to kind of finish this portion up. The scanner makes this pretty smooth, pretty fast. And just guiding me on this one last little turn. But overall, that's pretty much all the information I need right in here. Once we go ahead and we put our denture back, at this point we can remove the impression from the denture or place the scanner directly into the scanner wand, which allows me to charge the intraoral scanner just from this convenient little station. Now at this point, let the, uh, the computer software think for a moment, and then I could click a button or I could go ahead and have it finish or refine. We don't need to capture the bite. We don't need to capture the opposing arch, which is really ideal for some of our edentulous reference denture workflows. Let's come back in a moment once the scan is refined. 
now that it's refined, let's go ahead and take a look at the scan. Very impressive 360 scan. It automatically aligned the scan of the edentulous arch. And now we're ready to go ahead and either send it to our dental lab, or we can export either the STL PLY or OBJ files into any readily available software. Additionally, there's bridges to natural software like 3Shape and ExoCAD built into the Allied Star software. For us as clinicians, it allows us to be able to go ahead and take our denture scan, over denture scan, or our locator fix scan. Everybody, pretty impressive offering here from the Allied Star company with the new Sensa intraoral scanner. Let's go ahead and take a look at other scanners here at IDS in 2025.